storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. We gotta talk about that Wonder Bread. Won't, 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 won't the bread news. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread. Want the bread, want the bread, want the bread, want. We got that want the bread news. It's still less news. Kardashian news, tatted up news. We got that want the bread, want the bread. That devilish news. All right, we got some want the bread news. According to Kardashian and Travis Barker, apparently blood is life. I thought Jesus was king. I thought God was Lord, but according to Kardashian and Travis Barker, blood is life. They've been dating for a little while now. I truly believe that this ain't nothing but Courtney you know is she she kind of like Stella getting her groove back with Travis Barker Travis Barker is a famous rocker and you know he had allegedly slept with Kim Kardashian back in the day but who hasn't slept with Kim Kardashian back in the day and and and, and here's the one thing about the Kardashian sisters they share everything and they might not be able to share panties because all they fake asses is different sizes and don't really want to be spreading crabs from person from pussy to pussy. But one thing I can tell you is that the Kardashians ain't never had a problem with sharing no sausage. They they don't give a damn about sharing no sausage because men mean absolutely nothing to this family. It's all about the energy. And according to Courtney, they're sealing their relationship in even more. So, all right, there was a picture. That was very interesting of Travis Barker that, that Courtney reposted and put a little black heart with it. All right. It's a vial of blood. OK, they say in the streets that Travis Barker has a bunch of blood cots in his arm. He said that he constantly gets them and I guess he gets them drained. I don't really understand that process, but whatever. But keep in mind, he was a drummer for like 20 years. So I guess if you constantly use your arms, maybe you can have blood clots in it. Maybe they could be making this up. But just you, you got to remember who you're dealing with here. This is Travis Barker. And this is Courtney Kardashian that, you know, was was blending up her placenta on live television talking about. Yeah, man, I, I know it's good for you to take after. And I know the vitamins and the nutrients, but it just it gave it, it, it gave evil witch, Courtney. It gave us evil witch. And so according uh, to the streets, Courtney is doing, you know, some kind of damn ritual or some kind of damn. Oh, I'm trying to say it without saying it. Okay, basically, this ain't nothing but some blood magic that they doing. And she posting it and putting it in y'all faces. We know that the damn Kardashians do rituals in front of us like it ain't none. They, they've they been doing it for the longest. All right, a ritual ain't always bad. Sometimes it has good intentions. Sometimes it has bad intentions. I'm just showing you what it is. This couple, all right, they are no different than Megan Fox and MGK, Machine Gun Kelly, walking around with, with each other's blood in the necklace, okay? They're no different than what Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton did back in the day when they were walking around with blood around each other. Right now, the now Courtney's reps are trying to say that she's not going to put it in the necklace and she's just reposting it. However, we do not believe that, okay? Now, let me explain something to you, all right? This is actually how the jury is when you walk around with someone else or with your lover's blood. It is a whole thing. It is called blood magic, okay? And basically, to carry your lover's blood is to create a bond between the two souls. It is said to represent the ultimate sacrifice of your own life force and said thus said to represent the deepest of trust and love to carry your own blood is a symbol of yourself and ancestry right uh it's also said to represent the deep codes how to live how you choose to die live again it ain't nothing but energy and power manipulation because this is a family that constantly needs to feed on male energy for their success and if you notice they constantly keep an influx of men coming through and their brands will continue to push forward it's 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 a game at this point and i really would think y'all would understand that and be catching on to that so she ain't resharing and putting no heart by his blood for no reason it's gonna be something that she does with it and it's gonna be something to hook them in and bind them together pretty much okay uh blah 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 blah, blah. what else what else what else all right i wonder um Take you to this article from back in the day with Billy Bob Thornton and Angelina Jolie. He was speaking at a school and they asked him about the whole blood thing and walking around with Angelina's blood. And he said that, hold on, let me get to the part. He uh, At the end, he said she thought it would be interesting and romantic if we took a little razor blade and sliced our fingers, smeared a little blood on these lockets, and you wear it around your neck just like you would your son or daughter's baby uh, baby hair. Same thing. From that, on, from that point on, we were wearing court drawers of blood around 
around our next. Angelina Jolie is, is is weird. She been weird and she always will be weird. According to my source, Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Aniston are a part of the same coven. They already knew when this whole swap divorce thing was going to go down. Jennifer Aniston played the victim for the, the paps because the paparazzi pretty much made her the victim. But she knew that relationship was over. She was okay with it. He wanted to go to Angelina and now he regrets that to this very same day because Angelina is basically somebody that she she sucks the life out of you. She's another Madonna. You know what I'm saying? She sucks the life force out of you. The Kardashians are no different. These are man eaters. They suck out, suck off, suck you, buzz, suck the male energy and uses it to keep their careers going and their lives being prosperous. So I don't know no other way to put it. It is what it is. It ain't cute. Ain't none cute about a vial of blood. This is blood play. And coming from the Kardashian family, you already know how they get down. Got questions? Talking to one of the world's top 10 psychics ought to help. Dr. Linda Salvin is amazing with an uncanny ability to clarify your issues and bring you quick and accurate answers and predictions. From the White House to the homeless, Dr. Linda has helped thousands over more than two decades on her national radio show, by phone, in person. When you need answers, Dr. Linda lights the way. Book time with this gifted healer and clairvoyant now. Visit lindasalvin.com or call 888-509-1077. And you can bring Dr. Linda's metaphysical healing home with her spirit-filled candles, Wicks of Wisdom, where pure essential oils and elements are powerfully released through her proprietary rituals to assist you in love, legal, career, finances, health, and more. Wicks of Wisdom work. See them and order yours at lindasalvin.com. Always fun and accurate, Dr. Linda's visions bring you solutions. Call 888-509-1077 or visit lindasalvin.com. Uh, it's Storm Show. Hey, it's Storm Show.